Hello everyone. Some of you who are my regular viewers may already be aware that I've been working on and developing a system for washing comic books, you know, one leaf at a time if I take it apart and to clean it up, especially the interior pages is something I've been working on that involves both the chemistry and the apparatus uh, in which you, you know, clean the thing. And so it's going through several iterations. It takes a long time and I have lots of other jobs besides this comic book stuff that keep me fully occupied. So I don't have a lot of time to work on it, but I've been building a system. I've got a tank system set up and I've been working on different spray uh, cleaners. And this is a little bit of insight. Uh, you can see what one of the steps looks like. I'm never gonna be happy with it, but this is a little test that I was using today on an old, you know, kind of a comic book news um, from the early 90s or late 80s. And it shows you, uh, you know, what I do to test it and what some of the results can be. Uh, I hope this is fun for you. Just a little bit of insight. Uh, and I'll just keep on plugging along. All right, take care. Bye-bye. This, humble as it is, is my test facility. I have like a little clear board. And then I have an air compressor. I have an aspirator system that I've built. I've got something that's going to blow a lot of air and a little bit of cleaner so we don't over soak the book and then we're going to see if we can wash it. So let's see what happens here as we turn this on. We should be aspirating the cleaning season in a moment and let's take a look. Because this system got so noisy, it was hard to hear my voice, so I'll just narrate this in a separate audio track. And you can see here that I'm just spraying it with uh, you know, low pressure air from a compressor with an aspirator that's mixing my ImmaculeClean solution and it's pushing the, you know, the yellowed soil materials out of the pages and down. And this is what we do for cleaning. I'm, I'm trying this out and then we will let this dry and then we'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully. Hopefully it will come out a lot cleaner and, and wider. Um, fingers crossed. So hang on and see what happens. Okay, so let's see what it looks like when we're all done. This is the area. Now I left the clamp on there and pulled it while I wasn't supposed to, but you can see that this is the area where I cleaned it and this is the area where it it wasn't cleaned over here. So I'll let you take a look at that. It looks to me that the cleaned area is cleaner and brighter than the not clean. Let's, let's lay them uh, this side by side and let's take a look. So here is the cleaned corner and the unclean. And I think it made a big difference. I mean, you can even see from here to there, but let's take a look at the area where we cleaned it with our method and the previous area. Now, I did another side. This was the Macu Clean. This was my my own cleaner, and then I did another side with where is it? With just water here. So this is water rinsing with just water. This is rinsing with the Macu Clean and that setup I had, and this is neat or like this is our control on that side. So you can um, take a look here, see what you think. I think it. Uh, I think it made a big difference. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna start developing that into a bigger system so I can clean uh, comic books with it. I think it's I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be okay. <laughs> 